Sup y'all, welcome back to another reaction video by me, Dina. OG K-pop stand since 1998. Well, what y'all know, it's daytime. This is so long overdue, my apologies for that. This week was kind of like my checkup with all my doctors and specialists about my lupus week. So with the exception of the videos that I have already seen, I will be reacting to all the Stray Kids videos in chronological order. Yes, it's gonna be uh, quite the ride considering the amount of content that they have impressively came out with. But the fact that their content is told in like a storyline kind of way to showcase their growth, thought I'd go the extra step of respect, you know, by watching their stuff in order. I will be starting my little Stray Kids journey after today's reaction. Today's reaction will be to their side effects performance version. Now, I've already listened to this dope of a track countless times, but I've never been able to meticulously watch their choreography. The song's performance video has been highly recommended after my little dance analysis video, and I've already waited too long. So uh, with that being said, let's get on with this. I also do plan to like go a little bit into detail with why I think Side Effects is one of the best songs I've heard in K-pop, but I'm gonna save that for the end in case people don't want to hear me talk that long and just want to see my reaction. So I'm going to do the reaction first. Black and white. To show the difference. See, I like how they have their dancers in black. It's kind of like their shadows. Or at least that's how I'm seeing it. This goes, uh, this goes so well with the lyrics. Ooh, Chan, you, he really kills that platinum white hair. I'm gonna pause right now so I can like talk a little bit about what I see so far. See, this is what I love about art. We all can see things for what we see it as. Like there's no real right answer. Math is two plus two is four. It's always gonna be four, but with art, it can be anything. The artist can portray it however they want to portray it, and the viewer can either see it for what the artist is trying to portray or see it in their own totally different way. Art is limitless. So from what I'm seeing is like the dancers being in the dark clothes is kind of like their shadows. And then whenever they get into the formation where they're kind of stacked up on top of each other, the one in front of the stack is trying to like reach up, but then it's like a domino effect of the one in the back pulling them down. It's very uh, symbolic of the lyrics. They were saying like, they feel like they're just being swayed. They thought that they could trust themselves and why are they feeling like the way they are? They're not stable. They're like a line that's moving. They thought that things would be okay. Then Felix and Hyunjin's part, actually I'll get more into that whenever I talk about the lyrics after the reaction of this. Ugh, come on. I love, I always love that domino. Bringing the yellow from their album. Ooh, I like the smoke. Ooh, wave. The formations are insane. And they're so clean with their moves. Ooh. It's so symbolic of the lyrics. Yes. Oh, Felix is so mesmerizing. See, even the way they're dancing, they seem chaotic. Kind of like how the legs are representing mental health. Which I will get into. Sorry, I totally forgot I was recording. That's why I just went really hard just there. Beautiful. Beautiful, see? Like your shadows are moving you around, playing with you, fucking you up. Yes. They choreographed this themselves too, right? Uh, 
Yes, you were mesmerizing stuff. Yes, I f love this dance break. Footwork, footwork. Ooh, you know how hard it is to jump, spin like that on beat and synchronized, and even doing that, like to the musicality. Goodness gracious. Ooh. Fast footwork, crazy arm angles, all clean. Oh, bravo, boys. Bravo. I am not surprised at all that that was just fucking sick. I think we all already have established that Stray Kids are all very great dancers, which is always great whenever you see a group where everybody's dance skills are up to par or at least matching each other because whenever there's a group where there's like uh, i'm not saying it's like a rude way but like a weak link versus like the strong center when you have them as a group the visual isn't exactly executed like how i'm sure they'd intend for it to all right so now i'm gonna go into detail with why i say that side effects was one of the best songs i've heard in k-pop in a while but i'm gonna say a short disclaimer first Anything and everything that I say will be strictly my opinion. I don't claim my views as facts, and I'm not trying to start any fan wars with who's better than who. And honestly, I think the idols will also appreciate that we just appreciate their hard work and their dreams, you know, versus fighting with each other to see who's better because better is irrelevant when you want to be fair to all. Now that I've gotten that out of the way and said, I'm actually very shocked to hear that not a lot of people like the side effects when they either first listened to it or even just now and apparently it was labeled as noise by a lot of people now side effects may be a very different sound in the k-pop world so i totally understand if it's not like something that people typically prefer because things that are new are kind of hard to be very welcoming to at first or it could just be the style of the song that you just genuinely don't like and that's okay you know this is like a place for opinions here me personally what i really like about the song is the message or the messages i should say the lyrics could apply to many things many different people many different situations something that i think that is still highly taken for granted is the awareness of mental health so i really appreciate the the song highlights that. The message that I'm getting from the song is they're kind of questioning why they're feeling the way they're feeling after giving themselves trust. Kind of like how we get mad when shit hits the fan and we either yell at other people or we try to point blame elsewhere when really in reality we're actually mad at ourselves because we gave ourselves that trust. We thought we were good with not allowing ourselves to get to a place that we didn't feel safe. Our securities and our insecurities is one hell of a side effect from life. Felix and Hyunjin's part, which I really like because whenever Felix and Hyunjin are saying their parts, it's kind of like representing the sides in ourselves that kind of tug at each other and contradicting one another, you know, yin and yang. Oh man, and Han's verse where he, in translation, he says, why am I changing inside and out? I'm being colored now. Which to me, it represents that black and white plan that you had for yourself, which is the trust that you gave yourself that you thought that you were gonna follow. And when things fall through and it's being tapered with, that's where the colors come in and throws you off. That's why he's saying I'm being colored now. Like, why is this happening to me? Changbin's verse, so raw. His words make me actually think about a time where I was like basically losing touch with who I really am due to subconsciously wanting to be like others because I didn't want to be alone. But see, I didn't see it that way in my teens, in my early to late 20s. I see it now in my late 30s that I was losing touch with where I really was. It makes me wonder what I'm going to think when I'm in like my 40s. I don't even want to think about my 40s. The side effects that I'm seeing from this song is just the reality of life. I was extremely bullied in middle school. I had my heart broken a couple of times. I battled body dysmorphia every day. I did really dumb shit in my 20s. And at one point in my life when I thought that I finally got a hold of things, boom, several deaths in my family. Boom, I get diagnosed with a chronic autoimmune disease. 
boom, I have to fight chemotherapy and dialysis to save my kidneys, which I did, so I'm good for now. It was a big issue in my family that mentally brought me down to the lowest point in my life. But time did its thing, and I found a strength within myself that I knew was in myself that I needed to bring myself right back up again. I told myself that if I could get through chemotherapy, then I can accept the things that I can't change and work on seeing things for what they are and deciding how I want to go about afterwards. So yeah, that's my uh, little review of why I appreciate side effects so much. Damn, see what y'all do to me straight kids? Y'all y'all make me use my brain, but we all need a lot of that. So thank you straight kids. And thank you guys for tuning into this reaction video. Feel free to give me a thumbs up if this video was a thumbs up for you. If you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button to tune into more reactions to my upcoming super straight kids marathon reaction and other random stuff by me. Hope y'all are still staying safe out there amongst this crazy world of 2020. And until next time, peace.